It's going to be a nicer day on Halloween. Trick or treat, have some antiques. All right, so it's called the whistle stop. That's what it is. Here we go. So they have some enamel there with a little drizzle on there. Looks like chocolate fondue, doesn't it? Oh, wow, this is cool. So it's this little printout. And those are like 1950. Well, I know. Ah, I can. 15 cents, so I would probably I, I, guess, I, I, it was 15 I, I, cents, so. so don't you think 50s or cents? Yeah, that came that's in, nice, so that's what I like that. I think I'll get that one. And then this poinsettia, the three. Oh, I think I'll get both of those, those look nice behind, behind some things, like in a display. That'll look cool. Oh, there's little cows over there too. Oh, it looks so nice with all the Christmas. Oh, look, they have like a little bubble set up light. So they have a bubble light set up here. For $8? That is adorable. So bubble lights are fun. They're like little mini lava lamps. That's kind of the way I think about them. That's adorable. For $8? I'm so tempted to get that. Should I do that? Should I be that person today? Should I, should I be the person that buys bubble lights? Sometimes I do that. Okay, I will. I'll be that person today. I'm in the mood. <gasps> That's an angry ghost. Oh. No, but I can't buy any ghost things. I'm on Christmas mode right now. It's really squeaky on these floors. Oh. Some oregano. Oh, that's a nice Santa Claus doing his thing. You know what? I think I will get this little guy. It's $5 and he does have a, a stick in his back of his sleigh, but you could probably like sniff that off and then put like a tree back there with him or maybe some presents if you're so inclined to make some presents. You know what? I remember I used to make this origami thing and you like fold it a certain way and then you blow, you blow it and then it like blows up that little box. It makes like a little origami thing. I don't know, I used to do it. I don't remember how to do it anymore, but I'm gonna get that for five. I think that'll be good. This is sort of different. It's this like homemade wood deer. It's 450 for your napkins. I'm kind of into it, but I don't know. Hmm. It looks like it has a decent amount of a decent amount of age to it, but I just I don't know. I don't think I will. It's pretty cool though. What else we got going on here? There's some brown slag glass. Oh, with that owl. I don't think that's very old. How much you want to bet? <laughs> We're gonna bet. I think this is either Mosser or Boyd's. Let's take a look. Ah, no, it's Bob. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Bob St. Clair. So St. Clair glass is a big name for stuff. But Bob? I don't know about Bob and his St. Clair. That's a cute little thing though. Eight dollars. Chocolate glass. Oh, it does look cute though. That color. No matter that it's not too old. I, I think it's cute. I do. You're, you're nice. I pat you on the head. It says Thanksgiving is 30% off over five. I don't know what constitutes Thanksgiving. Maybe that owl is Thanksgiving because he's an owl that's thankful for being alive. That looks so neat in a Christmas display. It's uh, 20, 20, it's either 20 or 22 or 27. One of the three. That's neat, whoa. Watch it, watch it sign. That's a cool looking thing though. Okay, so this is the back room and they have kind of a, an eclectic mix and there's a smiley face that might now this might be mccoy based on this 12 dollars number maybe it is and it is that's mccoy people like those smiley face mugs i've yet to find one of those at a like a cheap price i might be i might be so inclined to get one if i find it at a not so bad price but that's not today did you see anything but oh are they old not really they're different though look at them wait a minute they have the vibes of being old don't they but based on this metal up here and the ribbon color 
and even the condition of this, I would say they're not. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up this mug. It's a Nestle's restaurant wear mug. It says Inca wear. The thing is, there's another one. And the other thing is, it has a red slash through it. I don't know if that means it's 50% off. Some malls are like that. Or it might mean nothing at this point because I don't see any signs saying that it is. But it's $3.50, which is actually a good price. And you know what? I should get the other one because I don't know if I want to hold on to one or I just want to sell them as a pair or... They're, they're, it's Nestle's though and it's Inkaware. Inkaware is a restaurant wear brand. See there? Newcastle, Pennsylvania. I'm going to get those. Those are fun, aren't they? Nice color. You can put your hot chocolate in there and be all fancy. Yeah. You hear that horn back behind. It's a train coming through. Okay, these are really cute actually. And I know it's like... So there are a bunch of sales going on throughout oh. the booths. There's like 50%, 40%, uh -huh. 75%. Oh, this is 50%. Oh my. Well, yeah. Halloween is about over. It's, but this is from 1991. I just like the coloring on that. I think it's really pretty. <laughs> Candlestick holders, 350. So they will be 350 then because they're under five dollars. Ooh, there's some brown drip in the hole. Wouldn't it be cool if I found some orange drip, the tangerine? That'd be really cool. Oh wait, does it come with the candlestick holders too? Like, does it come with those too, the candles? Those look so cute in there. <gasps> I bet they do, because they don't, they don't have a price tag on them. Well, that's a good deal. I'm gonna hang on to these for a year, I guess. Maybe I'll put them out for next season. Those are cute. Oh my gosh, he's over there eating crackers. You can I, eat one. I don't, well, I don't want any crackers. I don't want it. I gotta save myself. If I eat a cracker, that'll be downhill from here. I can do it. I won't enjoy my, my uh, whatever we're going. We've still got another mall to go to after this one, so. We do? Where? That one in the corner. Just got the whistle stop? Yeah, might as well go in now. Oh, it's so small, it won't take very long. We'll be in and out in 10 minutes. There may be a train that I find out about, and then you'll be stuck waiting. I like that picture frame. Oh, they still have all the little bluebirds lined up here. Eight dollars is just so good. Some of them are thirteen. That's a nice red piece down there. Do you, you see a price on this down here? On the tag? It's hard to do with my coffee in my hand. Thirty? Okay. That's about what they go for. That's about it. Little bunny boo-boo. It smells good in here. Oh, look at the little gnome guys. Or I think they're elves making them toys. They're making them toys like they do. Are there any Christmas trees in here? Glass Christmas trees. You don't see any glass ones. No. Well, that's, that's a newer ceramic tree back there. Lots of bottle brushes. Oh, look at that bee biscuit jar. Is that old or no? Here, you get to be the cup holder. Be very careful. Let's take a look at this. Okay, I think it's newer. I have a feeling you're new, but that's okay. There's a ship on the bottom of it. Yeah, I don't think that's terribly old, but that's cute. It's only $6.50. Weird. I can't make out the bottom. For $6.50, I'd be a fool not to. I don't think it has a ton of age on it, though. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I just don't think it is. I can't even read that. Huh. For $6.50, I, I really just should, so I think I will. Look at this. I asked for a glass tree, and I found one. This is $3.00. Three dollars. It has a little star on top too. That is adorable. I'm gonna I'm gonna be selling trees eventually. <laughs> I'm kind of into these glass trees. I think they look really elegant. And you could put like candles and things in them. They're just beautiful. Or lights, like a tea light inside of there would be cute. One of them little battery operated ones. Be very good. Okay. Let's keep looking. I love this. 
I really should keep one or keep a couple of these for myself, but I know they they go pretty good. So I'm not sure if I want to give myself something so nice. You said this masters it. Do you want it? What are you trying to say? The woman I said, saw it, but she said it matches it. Oh no, because uh, this is five dollars. I saw it, but it has like a little boo boo oh. there. Let me see the bottom of it. No, the whole thing. Like hold that really well. No, made in Germany. That's a bit newer. Should I for five dollars? Maybe I just should. It's the thing is those aren't these don't the B things don't sell for as much as I would want. Surely it. on your live sale it will. No though. I want, I'll, I'll do it anyway. I feel like I have to save the bees. It's my way of doing it, but they don't, something like that should go for, you know, $18, $20. And I feel like it struggles to get there. And it's surprising. There's just maybe not enough bee people out there that are looking for those honey bees. Oh, look, it's the whole brown drip. I want the orange drip, not the brown drip or a green drip. I'll take a green drip or I'll take a, a blue drip, which is harder to find. Look at them cats. You know what? I have those. I have a, I have those in a box at the shop I need to sell. They're like little hanging planter things. So, yeah. Anyway, let's keep looking. I just noticed this hazel atlas strawberry. And they only have $3 on it, $2.95. And that is actually a really good price for these, considering they go for about $16 to $18. And I've talked about these so many times, but they made them in apples, and they also made them in pineapples. The pineapples are very hard to find, and they go for $50 plus dollars. I feel like I've seen them for as much as $75 for the uh, pineapple. Okay, interesting here. So we've got a Napco Wear cookies all over, right there and then we have this other one that says cookie time that one is very similar to the one in friends if you ever watch this that show i don't know if it's in that color way offhand cookies all over by napco wear is kind of popular though 20 is a good price for that has a pretzel top that's adorable we love a good pretzel top and you know what i'm wondering if this is a reproduction or not Something, it says USA on the bottom. I don't think that this is a uh, Napco wear. This is too heavy. Pottery is too chunky. The paint job is not good enough. I don't believe that's Napco wear. I think this is a uh, knockoff or at the worst, a reproduction from, a early, from not so long ago. But it's based on cookies all over if you look that one up. So oh, funny, I took the other one up to the register and the uh, owner said, you know what? There's, an, there's a whole strawberry section and they're doing 50% off. So this is actually $2. Another really good one. I love picking those up. So I don't know, it's just something, they're just so retro. By the way, these are like a jam jar. I don't know if I mentioned that. So you could put strawberry jam in there and it would be really cool. Um, strawberries, so these are newer from make like the 90s or so, but that would be like a dollar and a half. What a great price. These are cool. I like the detail on those. Again, newer, probably made in Japan, made in China. 250 for the pair, that's good. Everything else though was on the newer side. Whereas like this would be from the 50s. So that's awesome. Oh, Aaron is still talking about food with people. That's all he's been doing today. <laughs> you know what? I look, I looked back in here and I found another tree. This one is 325 and it's a frosted one, which is a really good price for this. And I actually sold one of these not too long ago. What would be great with this is one of them light up boxes you put this on, a color changing thing, and it will diffuse that it'll diffuse that color so well in here. There is a ceramic tree right there for 350. These prices are so good. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty too. So it's 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 simple, but how lovely is that? I'm gonna get this too because 350 in a display, it's so elegant. The bottle brushes are nice too, but I don't like you could you can kind of get those anywhere. But the, the trees are really cool. Okay, here are two Christmas trees. 
Okay. Just okay, this is adorable. It's a glass covered turtle for four dollars. Look at this. It's like a little fairy lamp kind of a thing. It has a hole on top and then his shell comes off and then you got the Mr. Turtle here. I think a green candle would look cute in here more than a white one. And it'll help kind of give that illusion of a turtle as turtles usually are green. What a cute little thing you are for $4. That's great. I will get it. That's very nice. By the way, we ran into a subscriber here named Diane and she has many booths and we're having a grand old time. So this is good. Yeah. Aaron got a gift from her and I did too. I got some trees, little yeah. tiny, little tiny trees I got a little, some balls, for, right for his layout. My trees, I cannot plant or anything. They're, they're bottle brush trees. So Diane, you're probably watching because she says she does. So thanks for your trees. Okay, so I think they got music playing back here and I don't see anything I gotta have back here. But I've cycled this place about three times. Oh, there is an upstairs too. I forgot. Let's go up there. Yeah, there's an upstairs. We gotta go look. It's it's um it's up in the front there. Oh, they got little turtles and animals. Okay. Well. Because the idea is going to be to go to that restaurant before it gets busy. Oh so we'll my. Oh my. So we'll want to in the next thirty minutes do that. Mmm. I see. Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs because they have more up here. So it's funny, I actually, another subscriber I ran into, um, she used to have a space up here. And since she has moved out of here, she has sold me her merchandise directly. So that was pretty fun. So that happened a, a little bit ago. Have been up here. This way to a brand new shop. Well, this sounds exciting. Let's see what's, let's see what's over here. Oh, it looks like a brand new shop. <laughs> okay, so it's like lots of signs and bears and chairs. They're known for their bears and chairs up here. And then we've got wreaths. Okay, so there are some fun things happening over here. First, let's start back here. I noticed this cherry canister set, which I absolutely love. It has these old decals on it of cherries and the red lids, and it is $10. $10 for the set of four. That is outstanding. So I'm going to get those. Okay, this set is one of them um, spice racks, and they have 50 on it. That's about where it should be, so I won't do that one. Oh, look at little birds. Get some salt cellars. And then there's some planters up here. This bunny, oh, his ears have been broken off. Oh, poor little thingamajigger. Poor little thingamajig. And then there's this dog, that's an Avon bottle. We've got a car Avon bottle. We've got a girl holding her hat, doing a dance over there. A dog with its butt in the air for three. Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna get those canisters. I think that's all I need over here. Yes, just the canisters. You look beautiful. Those are so nice. I would probably sell those for between 30 and 40, if in case you're wondering. They're from the four, they're from like the mid to late 40s or very early 50s. Okay, so we are gonna wrap it. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, I thought it stopped recording. All right, so we are going to wrap it up. We did really well at the last two places, and I think we are done for the day. We're gonna go eat now. And then go home. And then go home. The sun is starting to pop out for us. Yeah, we're clear, and it's gonna be a nicer day on Halloween, at least in this part of the Is it Halloween US tonight? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow evening's trick or treat. So. Trick or treat, have some antiques. So, yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.